Now, it's time to head back to the fields for our VRC high school quarterfinals match. Grant, take it away. Thanks so much, Bobby. We're still getting settled down here on the, uh, on the field behind me as these teams are getting ready to play. I've got one quick statistic for you about skills since we just crowned the skills world champion. I believe this is the first time in VEX history this has actually happened. Uh, the highest programming skills score recorded here at VEX Worlds was 280 points. The highest driver skills score was 264 points. That's right, prog skills was higher than driver skills. I, that is incredible to me. You all are incredible programmers. So with that out of the way, uh, let's take it away. Right behind me, Keegan. Thank you very much, Grant. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The play and matches are done. And now, the journey from the main bracket to a world championship crown begins now. Behind me, I've got the number one seeded team versus the number eight team. Let's go to meet them, shall we? First and foremost, we get to the number one division team of the math division. This team, first up, 392X. This team wins the Excellence Award at the Northern California Silicon Valley Signature, by the way, of San Jose, California. Give it up for the Speed Zappers. Their partners are Team 81988E. They have won the Asia Pacific Championship. And from the way of Shanghai, China, give it up for Extra P. Now, you've seen the number eight seed team, but we reintroduce them from the engineering division, the number eight seeded division. First, Team 2011A, first in spirit division last year. Went back to back this year, winners in the skills at Ohio State Championship. Please welcome Team 2011A from Broadview Heights, Ohio, Asymmetrical. And their partners, Team 1408F. They are the only UK team ranked first, winners of the UK National Finals, and are the first United Kingdom team to make it to the arena. Please welcome Team 1408F from Coventry in the United Kingdom. Please welcome Sloppy. Quarterfinals about to get underway. Teams ready to go right behind me. Let's get this match started. Hey, Arena, you guys ready? Oh, my gosh. Come on. Let's try this one more time, shall we? We're about to see champions being crowned here, starting at the quarterfinals. Let's try this one more time. Vex Nation, are you ready? Let's go ahead and count this down all together, Vex Nation, and around the world. We start this match in three, two, one, go. Underway here, 115 second autonomous mode. Red Alliance, four upstairs for the number one seated map. Make it three more. Blue Alliance has yet to make one. Red Alliance looking for more upstairs to go over. 392X. Speed, speed zappers. Okay with it for right now. Shoot two off to the left. Final tally. Red gets the first 10. Drivers, three, two, one, go. Map division with the first 10 of the game. Up to the blue to catch. Red Alliance adding on. But it's going to be a do -si do floppy going right at the toes of Speed Zappers. In the meanwhile, on the other side, Asymmetrical trying to shoot. But an extra B is going to go ahead and go right at them. Meanwhile, it's going to be Speed Zappers. One, two, three, rapid fire away. They go. Another three, another two. Yes, saw for the Blue Alliance. One minute, 15 seconds left to go on the clock. Another couple of shots up, random fire off from Floppy. But all of them landing up inside of the lower zone, inside of the one point area for the blue for right now. One minute, six seconds left to go on the clock, pushing, going around. And now you're down to the final 60 seconds remaining. Pin count is five, they're out at two. Shots coming up, yes. Speed tappers are up. Red's gotta watch their string. There is somebody that just spins all together, and that's actually right now on the string of Asymmetrical. Down to 45 remaining, Asymmetrical has to stay. 40 seconds remaining on the clock, still shots being pulled off. Red Alliance does not have a lot of room left inside of their goal. Down to 35, two on one in the favor of the math division, in favor of the Red Alliance. Rollers right now in terms, you're looking at a three to one situation. Red Alliance takes the lead, 23 seconds. 
Not a lot of time left here to go. 15 seconds left. Teams are set, starting to settle in, looking for setups here. And with 11 seconds, teams and Dave and Abel. 2011A back in the game. Five seconds left to go. Can anybody shoot out strength? Everybody's getting blocked. Two seconds left, and that is the buzzer. Quarterfinal number one lands up being a lot of strings in orange and black all over the place. Blue's got him a little full, but red has it all the way to the top. We will find out who advances on into semifinal number one. But first, we got to go back to Grant for the rest of the situations. That's right. Well, we had our, our, our play-in matches. We got to see how these quarterfinals are starting to shake out. That 1408 machine, to, to me, is just like a pinnacle of how you should play this game. They can do offense, they can do defense, they push people around cleanly, but effectively. Uh, there was a lot of very effective play in that match from both alliances, quite to the point where one of the robots, I think two of the robots, at least one, wasn't even able to deploy their uh, end game mechanism. That's critical. You can't be making those types of mistakes here at this level of play. So we'll see how it ends up shaking out for them in the scores. While the referees take a moment to add those up, it's time to head to uh, my friend George for the next match. Take it away, George.